Welcome to the series of Azure ML Toolbox video tutorials. Today you will learn how to use Apply SQL Transformation module to specify a SQL query using SQLite syntax to work with the values of input datasets. SQL statements are very useful when you have to modify some data for use in other environments. For example, if you want to create tables for results and save the datasets in a portable database, then you can do that with Apply SQL Transformation. Also, you can perform custom transformations on data types or create aggregates. This control allows you to execute SQL query statements to filter or alter data and return the query results as a data table. So let's see how to configure Apply SQL Transformation. There are three inputs, so it can take up to three different data sets as input and produces a single data set as resulting output data set. These input data sets are referenced as T1, T2 and T3 with respect to the index of the input port. So the next part is write a SQL query which uses SQLite syntax. When typing multiple lines in the SQL script text box, use semicolon to terminate each statement. Otherwise, line breaks are converted to spaces. So the next part is to drag movie ratings dataset on canvas and connect it to apply SQL transformation control. This dataset would be referred as T1. So let's visualize this data first. So it has user ID, movie ID, rating and timestamp columns. I want movie IDs with rating 10. So let's go to properties pane of apply SQL transformation control and write a SQL statement. So I want to retrieve all the columns from movie ratings whose rating is 10. Also, these ratings are given by users. So multiple users have rated one movie. I just want those movies for which at least one rating is 10. So I will use group by clause on movie ID. So let's type the query here. Once you're done with writing the query, you can go ahead and run the experiment. Experiment has finished running. So let's visualize the output results. So these are the results of our query. We have all the movie IDs with rating 10. Likewise, we can attach two more data sets. So I will drag movie tweets data set and IMDB movie titles data set. And let's connect them to apply SQL transformation. So let's visualize movie tweets data set. In this data set, we have tweet ID for tweets posted by various users. So we will just retrieve tweet ID from this data set and it also has movie ID to join with T1. Now let's visualize IMDB movie titles. So IMDB movie titles dataset has movie IDs and movie names. So I will join these three datasets on movie ID and from this dataset I will retrieve movie name. Now click on apply SQL transformation and write a SQL statement in SQL query script. I have already written the query and I am retrieving movie ID, movie name, rating and tweet ID from these three tables. So once you are done with writing the query, then you can run the experiment. Let's visualize the output results of apply SQL transformation. Here we have movie ID and its name with respective rating and tweet ID. And we have retrieved all this information from three different tables having rating 10. So apply SQL transformation supports most of the complex queries but it does not include many features supported by commercial relational database systems. For example, left outer join is implemented, but not right outer join or full outer join. Also, you can create a view within SQLite, but thereafter views are read only. You cannot execute a delete, insert or update statement on a view. However, it is very useful module to transform data in other environments. So this is how apply SQL transformation module works. Thanks for watching.